Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, I'll be reviewing another Alfred Hitchcock film from my movie collection. And, mmm, some good milk. Thanks Tinkerbell. Now you can't skidoo, yeah get out of here. Always interrupt my videos and stuff, what the hell. Anyway, like I said folks, the one I will be viewing today is from my movie collection here. And this one is called The Skin Game. Yeah. Of course folks, I will be viewing again another old film. And of course, as always, I want to talk about the story of this movie. So let's get started, shall we? Yeah. In this film, folks, it tells the story of an old traditional family and this modern family that battle over land in a small English village. And, uh, and the plot, I can tell you that it tells the story of a feud between two different families and yeah the fight does go on for quite a while and there's there are these strong themes in the story but anyway it's pretty much in the beginning of the film there is this rich family that's fighting against the other family who sends away poor farmers to build factories and their lands of course this does upset the other families and honestly did feel that this film was actually pretty good in my honest opinion his film is his his technique his storytelling did improve over time of course but with what he did here was actually pretty good in my honest opinion and I wouldn't mind watching this film again and of course, we we'll have to thank the Amazing Maddie for watching this film with me. And if you're watching this Amazing Maddie, thank you very much for watching this film with me. But anyway, I thought this was a pretty solid entry for Alfred Hitchcock. I quite enjoyed it. For anyone who haven't seen it, I do highly recommend it because I can't honestly say, say that I did enjoy this film. I thought it was an improvement over... Well, I can't say yeah. I can't say that I can't honestly believe and say that this film was more enjoyable than the previous one that I reviewed earlier I thought the story was better and the story was better constructed and had more of a story than the other one I reviewed already the previous film I reviewed from Alfred Hitchcock was the Champagne I believe and, and I thought this film, The Skin Game, was a much better film. And I do recommend it for those who haven't seen it, to be honest with you. It's not that bad, folks. I recommend it. Just like some of the other Alfred Hitchcock films that he will make in the future, The Skin Game is based on a novel by the same name, which I haven't read. So I can't tell you if it was faithful or not. But anyway... For what it is, for what it is, folks, it's a good movie. Alfred Hitchcock's films did improve over time, of course, but this film definitely has a lot of its touches, without a doubt. I recommend it for those who haven't seen it, because, in my honest opinion, this film was well crafted, it was well edited, and it was actually well it was well acted, in my honest opinion. That's a pretty good story. And the story is well structured, I suppose. You know, a lot of the actresses and actors uses their body language to express the character's feelings, which is which is something that's not done in a lot of movies nowadays. But anyway, I quite enjoy this film. I do recommend it. Yeah, I do like I did I do like a lot of the scenery that was in the film. A lot of the scenery was nice actually. A lot of the scenery was actually really really nice, in my honest opinion. 
Yeah, the way the film was photographed was really nicely done. Yeah, I can't really honest. I can't honestly say that Alfred Hitchcock does know how to work a camera. He really does. He honestly does. But anyway, this this film is not that bad, really. And I'm saying that because I know a lot of film critics did dismiss it. I don't know why, but they, a lot of film critics did dismiss this particular film, which to me is just completely unfair because just think about the time period it was made. There was a lot of restrictions on this film, but whatever. I actually bought the Amazing Maddie the same collection that I have right here, and he had watched every single one with me, and I highly, highly appreciate it. So yeah, if you're watching this Amazing Maddie, thank you very much for watching this film with me. I really do appreciate this Amazing Maddie. Yeah, this is actually a pretty good collection if you're asking me. And yes, I know, I know, I'm reviewing an old movie again. But hey, I like reviewing old movies, okay? I really do enjoy watching old films and reviewing them. Yeah, but anyway, this is actually a good collection if you're asking me. It's, it's a really good collection. Yeah. This film collection even contains some of the Alfred Hitchcock's episodes from the TV show that he has starred in. And, yeah, I like those episodes. Those were good episodes. It only has two episodes from his TV series, but still, I enjoyed those quite a bit. That amazing man did watch those with me as well. It's not, it's not that bad, folks. It really, it really isn't that bad of a movie. The screenplay, the screenplay was actually pretty good, very solid. The acting was solid, the music was solid. There's not much of a comp there's not too much I have to complain in here. I mean, yes, it does have its flaws, but you know, this is an Alfred Hitchcock film that they made in the early early years when he was just when he was just starting out. He used to work, he used to make movies in London. Yeah, he used to make movies in London before he went to Hollywood over here in America. And this film was actually made when he was over there. But, I still recommend it. Yeah, it's interesting to in my honest opinion, it's interesting to me to see his roots, where he came from. And I quite enjoyed this film, folks. I quite enjoyed it. I guess, yeah, this film is actually rather short. This, this is a short movie. So I guess I'll just keep this, uh, I'll keep this movie review a short one. I'll give this film an overall rating. Yeah, I'll give it a, a 6.5 out of 10. It gets a 6.5 out of 10 for me. And of course, as always, thank you for watching and take care. See ya.